In this video, you will learn daily use sentences about the night routine. Good morning, Peter. Good morning, Elsa. How are you today? I'm great today. As you know, today is Sunday. It's off from school. Yeah, it's a rest day. I got up late in the morning. But I wake up early. I brush my teeth and got dressed. I was excited to go out and play with my friends. But none of my friends have come to play except you. Usually, people in the neighborhood have different plans for weekends. My friend Jim told me yesterday that he plans to spend his weekend on the beach with his family. Sarah's family was planning to go to see their grandparents. You told me that you woke up very early in the morning. What time do you go to bed? I mean, what's your family night routine? As you know, I have three members in my family my mom, dad, and me. Our night routine is very simple we go early to bed. Because my dad is the office boss, he has to reach office in time. After eating dinner, we do walk for about 20 minutes. Then my parents read magazines and I do my homework. Elsa, do you read magazines? Yeah, I read different magazines every day. I read fashion, health, cooking, and business magazines. You might be surprised how I read these magazines. These are for elderly people. But I'm used to it because every day my mom and dad read these magazines. I also read National Geography Kids. What's your weekday's night routine? On weekdays, all the members of my family have to do their chores on fixed time. We eat dinner early. I walk for 30 minutes in my yard. Then I take a cup of green tea and sit with my parents for 15 minutes. After that, I go to my room and study for half an hour. My sister Emily also does homework at that time. Emily and I share the same room. We follow the study rules. We don't talk to each other. My dad read magazine or watches news on TV. My mom attends my little brother John. She puts him to sleep. After completing my homework, I take a cold shower. But it's winter now. Do you not feel cold? No, not at all. I like cold showers. It refreshes me, and I falls asleep quickly. Then, I read a bedtime story and fell asleep. I slept very late last night. I was reading a magazine. I came across an interesting story. I got emotional. I felt extremely sad, and I wanted to meet the person about whom the story was. Will you tell me the story? Sure, I would be glad to tell you the story. Let's listen to the story. This story is about humanity. Someone shared this story on the magazine. Everyone, this man came into my yard a couple of hours ago and offered to cut my grass for a certain price. I didn't have enough money today to pay for that on top of everything else, and I told him to come back in a week. A few minutes ago, I heard a loud noise outside my house. I opened the door and noticed that he was cutting my grass. I went running out to him and yelled for him to stop. He shook his head no. He told me that he saw my kids playing in the yard and was worried about snakes being in the grass and bitting them because the grass was too tall. I again told him to stop because I couldn't pay him. He said that he didn't need to be paid. He had grandchildren and hoped someone would look after them in the same way. I was brought to tears. I hugged him. We talked about different struggles we've had in life. And he told me, this is what the news doesn't report. He told me the news doesn't report that the black neighbor helped out the white neighbor because it isn't good for the network to make money. I told him that he had a good heart. I told him I wish more people on earth were like him. We hugged again. He's still outside cutting my grass, and it's dark now. I'm so grateful to have him as my new friend. He cut my grass for free tonight because he was worried about my kids playing outside in the tall grass. I hope he gets the recognition he deserves. If you want to support me, 
Please like, comment, and subscribe. Your support encourages me to create more useful videos. Thanks for watching.